Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48 and welcome back to The Infected. This is gonna be a super duper awesome video, guys. We have a huge update that's coming out. Uh, the developer is talking about early next week. Right now it is Thursday and I'm here in possibly Monday. Uh, he's definitely said early next week. Let me just read from you right from the Steam forums. It's, it's not really the forums, it's the, um, it's the update you know, section of Steam for the game. Um, hi everyone, I just wanted to give you an update on the status of the upcoming version 5.0 update. It should be ready for release early next week and is currently in the testing phase. Below is a list of new content changes and item features balance. Have a wonderful day. Well, I'm gonna have a wonderful day now. This update sounds freaking dope. All right, let's go over it. Uh, right off the bat, I when this update does come out, I am going to have to start a new world which I am perfectly fine with. Uh, you know, I'm gonna miss this world, but that's okay. Because, you know, I love these new updates, man. They're freaking dope. Okay, so. Although the map has the same look in terms of graphics and textures, there are noticeable changes. It's going to be a completely new layout, okay? Uh, the ground textures now have coded logic to identify what ores can be extracted in certain locations. Now, the developer of the game has talked about this for at least a month now he wants to have different biomes and different stuff can only be like harvested in in certain biomes right uh he's going to talk about this uh, by the way if you want to check this out for yourself like i said just go on this just go on the steam page for the game and there'll be like a news update section and you could read all about this okay no more aluminum nodes aluminum is now extracted with the mineral extractor okay so this uh this extractor right here is going to be the bread and butter of your setup from now on. It's not just aluminum either. Let's let's look at some of them, some more of these notes. New cliff mess, m meshes added. New bald cypress trees added to the swamps. Additional addition of small villages. These are going to replace the um the military camps. Uh yeah, small villages uh, replace the military camps. There are now three villages on the map, and each one contains three of uh, three to four blueprints. Uh, I have also added some loot items randomly spawned in the building. So we're going to get loot in the buildings at the POIs. Thank goodness for that. That, that will make things a lot more interesting. And instead of getting the military things, we're going to get like villages. And I'm guessing there's going to be less of them on the map because you're going to get like three or four. Well, I, my original idea was there's going to be less of them on the map because, you know, there's going to be, uh, you're going to get three or four blueprints at each village. But then I was thinking we've also got more blueprints now. Than when I first started the game. So it sounds pretty freaking cool. Uh, and he's increased the fog on map. I'm not sure why you would increase the fog on the map. Um, I really don't know. Uh, I hope it's not too bad because I like getting nice, nice sexy screenshots uh, for my videos. So I should not have deleted that. Let's put that back really quickly. You know, I'm probably gonna need a lot of planks. So let's, uh, let's go up here to the plank making section while I continue talking about this update. Uh, the mineral extractor. Below is a list of changes and additions to the extractor. Can acquire aluminum, copper, and cobalt ore only from mineral, mineral extractors in specific locations identified on the map. So, yeah, he, he talked about this like well over a month ago uh, that he was going to do this. Basically, like I said, you're going to have to go to certain parts of the map uh, and set up mineral, mineral extractors to get these ores. You're not going to be able to mine them anymore. Um, and yeah, I think he mentioned... Um, crafting recipe, ch uh, crafting recipe change to no longer include copper and aluminum can now run on biofuel. Also early game, you'll need the mineral, mineral extractor before you have the oil extractor, um, in non ore extraction zones, it will, it will extract only coal and iron fragments. Okay. Um, now has a toggle button, uh, to extract only stone. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can extract only stone. Although I don't think you get that stuff. You don't get anything from stone anymore. I think you just get iron. Um, new items and placeables. So somewhere in here, I, I remember reading, he said, you're going to want like different, like forward operating bases all around the map for your mineral, mineral extractors. I don't know where he, where he wrote that. Um, but I'm not seeing it just yet. Maybe it'll be like a little bit later down the, uh, down the list. New items and placeables. Biofuel can uh, can be crafted in the workbench using perished food. Uh, useful to power up the mineral extractor early on. 
cobalt ore. Cobalt can be extracted in specific map locations identified in the map. It can be converted into cobalt ingots. Okay, makes sense. Cobalt shelf stores cobalt ingots. Yep, just like we have the other ores. Makes sense. Um, chest rack. Now, this is one that I'm freaking hyped about. Uh, chest rack, all right? This rack will allow players to stack storage containers. Oh, my freaking God. Yes, yes, yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. That is freaking awesome. We've all been waiting for that, right? I mean, <laughs> like, no joke. Um, food prep table. Foods such as stew and mix can be crafted here. So, you know, like, we crafted the, the stews and everything, like, in the... Uh, in the crafting bench. We're going to have a separate table for that now. Uh, which should be pretty cool. I need to take this out like this. There we go. Okay. Wind turbine. This sounds freaking dope. I've been waiting for a wind turbine for a while, right? Um, wind turbine. Costly and produces only half the power of the solar panels, but will generate day and night at a steady pace. And we've got a wooden roof corner. Like last episode, I was I was looking for a roo wooden roof corner, and I couldn't find it. So, um, I won't have to do without that for too long. So, that's freaking cool. Alright, what else does he have in store for us? Changes to the bed. I've added the ability to add a spawn toggle to beds. In the event that you have more than one, you can identify the bed you would like to spawn at if you die. Um, that is really nice. Changes in balancing. Small stones smelted in the forge now only give iron fragments. This is the primary way to forge iron ingots. Oh. Oh, okay. So I guess what you could do with the extractors is you could set them up to do only stone if you want iron. And then you get the iron out of the stone. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, reduced height of foliage in player starter spawn locations. So the foliage... Uh, so no foliage will clip through foundations. So let's... Um, just in case you guys are wondering about that. I'm going to show you right over here. This foliage became a problem, and it's been a problem for a lot of other people as well. Uh, but right here, you can see the foliage is poking through the foundation. He's going to lower the foliage, so it won't poke through foundations. Can now... Oh, God, listen to this. Can now alt right mouse click items out of mineral extractors into the player inventories. Can now alt right mouse click items out of storage chests into inventories. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone wants everyone who wants the developers to listen to their, you know, player base. This guy's listening. He really is. So that's all you can really ask for. Uh, Vambi's no longer dropped Kevlar. Uh, Kevlar is now craftable at three cloth, three plastic, and ten plant fiber. Tech blueprints now automatically get read when the tech is learned. You don't have to put it in the tech slot anymore. That is really nice. That's a nice quality of life thing for sure. Okay, one thing that's always bothered me in this game uh, ever since I got the refrigerator was the way the power works on the refrigerator. Like when I see power on, I think press the button to turn the power on. Power on means the power is on. Okay, he's going to change that. Uh, fridge now reads on and off instead of power on and off. Uh, it was a bit confusing uh, to understand if it meant press to power, blah, blah, blah. It was. It's confusing the way it is. You know, um, another thing I'd like to see is if the power is on, maybe instead of this being black, it could be glowing red, like the power on. Maybe even put like a little indicator on the refrigerator somewhere if that's possible. Um, but yeah, that is definitely a step in the right direction. Solar panel max output raised from 25 to 40. Oh boy. So our solar panels are going to be um, a, little, a little less than twice as strong. Um, that's, quite a, that's quite a boost. Quite a boost. Um, glass panes now added to windows. Thank you so freaking much for that. Um, that wolf's pissing me off. Where is he? I don't see him. I hear him, but I don't see him. Yeah, you know what? Screw this guy. What's up, bro? Yeah, how hey, you like me now, wolfy wolfy? No more howling from your punk ass. Shut you up real quick. <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, glass windows. Thank you for that. Um, that's something I have definitely been wanting. Uh, circular saw recipe uh, now requires cobalt, oil extractor, solar panels, control panels, electrical parts. Uh, that stuff all requires cobalt. Um, field of view change from 80 to 100 degrees. What, I'm, I'm curious why he doesn't let us change our own field of view. That would be really, really helpful. But uh, that, is a, that is a nice... That's a nice step in the right direction. Although, again, I'd rather be able to—I'd rather be able to pick my own field of view. 
personally. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Adjust weapon position because of felt uh, because of field of view change. All roof sections now require clay to build. Ugh. When is the clay going to start respawning, man? Like, oh, I can't jump with... How are you supposed to get on a... Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, you can't jump when you're holding uh, when you're holding logs in this game. Fair enough. So what we'll do is we'll get this out of the way. And we'll make ourselves a little staircase going up here. Alright, everything after that I saw was bug fixes. So I am super hyped for this update. Like, I can't freaking wait. I hope it comes out Monday. Uh, he said early next week. That's the earliest it could come out. If he's saying early next week, man. And if this does come out Monday, expect to see a brand new world. Um, I'm actually off next week, which is really, really nice. Because, like, uh, if I was working next week, it would really kind of hinder me a little bit with this update. But because I'm not working next week, uh, if the update comes out on Monday, expect to see a video up Monday. And I will probably have one up Tuesday as well. You know, I'll have to see what else is going on. I, th I think there's some other games that are going to be getting updates soon. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty busy time, which is great. You're going to see a lot of new stuff. A lot of new dope stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm freaking excited, man. I am really, really excited. Okay, so let's drop that down. And let's start putting some walls. The first thing we're going to put is a door here. Okay. And then we're going to put some walls up. So you guys tell me in the comments, what are you most excited about with this update? What are you most excited? I got to be honest. The Well, the new map. I mean, that's a major thing right there. Um, but other than the new map, I'm really kind of excited about... Um, I'm really kind of excited about the, uh, the, the storage chests, honestly. I mean, that's like a big deal for me. Those storage chests are going to be like... Like being able to stack them... Is going to be so helpful. I've been wanting that for like ever. And look at how long it took the. To, look at how long it took us to get stackable storage crates in like a game like Stranded Deep. It took forever, you know. This is like uh, this is pretty quick turnaround for something like that, and that makes me very very happy. I can't wait to read what you guys have to say about it. Uh, let's go ahead and oh, we need some more planks. Where the planks at, bro? Okay, so I do have a lot of planks being made. Like, a lot of planks. That's full, that's full, and that's full. So, yeah. We just gotta watch the weight on our character. Okay, alright, cool. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, boy. I gotta think about a, a base build for next, uh, next season. I'm overheating. What am I wearing? Yeah, I'm wearing the jacket, that's why. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw that on the ground and take off the jacket. Hopefully that will be... Wait, did it come off? It didn't come off. Why not? There we go. Hopefully that will be all I have to do for now. I might have to go get my um my short sleeve shirt. Nope, that worked. Three, four, three, four, three, four. Okay. Out of the way, you stupid bird. You no meat given mother effer. <laughs> It doesn't really bother me that the birds don't give meat. They're still they're still good for feathers. If I was making arrows. That's another thing I'd like to see in the game. Ar bulk arrows by 25, please. For the love of God and all that's holy in this world. Um, arrows are a pain in the ass. Because they have like four different things you gotta put on them. And it's just like, ugh. I just I don't even want to deal with them, to be honest. So, bulk arrows by 25 would be great. That would be just wonderful. You know what, guys? I was going to build up this tower and do a full like, 25, 30 minute episode. And then I'm thinking to myself, why? Why? I'm thinking my next video will probably be on a new world. So I think I'm going to call this one a little bit early and not waste your guys' time with something that probably won't be, you know, uh, I won't be dealing with next episode. And we're going to call this one here. I love this world. It's been a hell of a world. And knock on wood, my next video will be on a new world because I am super duper excited to start a new world. Let me know what you guys think about the update. What are you what are you most excited about in the update? What are you least excited about in the update? What, what did you hope to see in the update that's not going to be there? What's going to be in the update that you were not expecting that, that you're super hyped about? All right? Yeah, let me know all that. I love reading you guys' comments. It's like, it's it's so much fun. All right, guys, if you didn't enjoy the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.